Hello everyone, my name is Madison and welcome back to Help and Help and today I'll be showing you guys how I prepare plants for my frog and toad tanks. So something people might not think about is all the fertilizers and pesticides they use on these plants to keep them looking beautiful in the greenhouse. You never want to put any chemicals into your frog tank and this is no exception. The steps I'm about to show you are how I prepare these plants and make them perfectly safe for my frogs. However, when you go and get plants, make sure that you're getting non-toxic plants. You can ask the greenhouse workers if they're non-toxic or you could look it up on Google if you know the name of the plant. I personally don't buy any plants that I do not know the exact name of because it's too much of a risk because you don't know if they're non-toxic so no matter what you do the plant itself is going to be toxic so just keep that in mind. So the first thing is materials. I'm using an all-natural topsoil. You want to make sure that it has no fertilizers, no pesticides, and no artificial pieces to it. Then your plant of choice. Sometimes you'll need a bigger pot. I'll explain that a little bit later. And a shovel. The plant I have today is a parlor palm. It's probably the best plant I have ever used um, and have the best luck with for frogs and toads. Um, not really good for toads that like to burrow into the roots. They're pretty small and delicate. So I would suggest this more for tree frogs and my fire belly toads absolutely love them. So then I'm gonna remove the plant from the pot now I like to work some of the soil off the top right away. This soil is already kind of wet, making it a bit easier to break it apart. Then you can just hit that with the hose a little bit and start to loosen up these, the dirt from the roots. You're going to notice that when you spray it with your hose, it's going to show a lot of the fertilizer that is stuck in between these roots. The goal of this is to remove all soil and all fertilizer from these roots so that we can make them perfectly clean, so that we can replant them into fresh soil that is 100% natural. So what I was saying earlier about needing a bigger pot is when these roots are really tight and compact um, from the greenhouse. This plant in particular, however, was not. So I can just do this process once, but sometimes other plants, you have to let the roots expand out a little bit and then continue to do this process over two months span of time to make sure that these plants are clean before you put them in a tank. Now I will be reusing the same pot because I didn't have that problem, so I'm just going to clean that out real good. And now it's time to replant. I'm no gardener, so I think I'm doing this right, but just make sure that you're using pesticide and fertilizer free soil. So now that you've replanted it, it's time to let it sit for about two months before you put it into your frog's enclosure. This just ensures that there's no longer any pesticides or fertilizers within the plant, outside of the plant, etc. So as you can see, I have an unhealthy amount of plants <laughs> waiting to go into our frog enclosures. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this helped you out. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Leave a like and subscribe for more and have a happy day. Goodbye.